Hello all, this is James Johnson, a.k.a. Solver Blade, and welcome back to my channel, where we're currently playing Yes, Your Grace. Um, it's the beginning of, what, week 11? And we shall just jump right in. in. So we will save and continue. I don't think I can really afford to get a carnival... Definitely can't get a training ground or a stable. Prepare a general for what? I don't know. Um, so here we go. Grievno, week 12. And there's our... There's the people that want to talk to us, the king. And what does Audrey want to say? Your Grace, how is our investigation going? I have found this animal tooth, but I don't know how it ended up in our castle. I have prepared a table for you in the council chamber where you can inspect the items. We should invite and question the lords. Who knows, maybe we'll be able to learn something from them. Remember that they might not always tell you the truth, Your Grace. And while we're inviting them, we should try to form alliances too. Yes, this is this is good advice, Audrey. Thank you. General. Your Grace. The situation got pretty hot. It wasn't possible to avoid bloodshed. Uh oh. Uh nonetheless, we have secured Lord Etton's Dustwares? Is that what I sent you to do? I thought I sent you to go to that farm nearby. Um, okay. How may I be of service, Your Grace? Now, I want to ask you about this animal tooth before I talk to you about the spices. I found this in my wine cellar. Can you tell me anything about it? What is an animal tooth doing in your wine cellar? It looks like someone has lost it. I'm trying to find its owner. I don't know, Eric. Probably someone who's interested in animals or creatures, shall I say? Um, I know why you need the spices. I've heard what you need those spices for. Your Grace, I can explain. Oracle dust is far from dangerous. As far as I've been told, it has medical use more than anything else. It's just an easy way to make some gold. It doesn't matter if you sell dust or not, it's going to get out to the people anyway. If we're the ones selling it, then at least we are the ones profiting. You just pass it on. Don't trouble yourself with the people who use it. Uh, that's a mighty convenient explanation. In fact, I could really use your help in this operation. And in return, I will always be at your service. I have a location near Bell Toys that uh, has some problems with the locals. Send an agent its way, and maybe he could give us a hand. Also, if anything out of the ordinary happens, then make sure I'm the first to know. We need to keep an eye on other sellers. If anyone comes selling, make sure to buy a pack or two. I will be able to double your earnings. If you do right by me, I will be sure to do right by you. I will give you my men, gold, and supplies. I'm not promising anything. At least you're not saying no. Look, I will throw in some extra for your efforts. Alongside 230 men, I will throw in my hounds. They're deadly and precise. The Rodovians won't know what hit them. Oh, and, uh, I think I just remembered something about the night Talus died. 
it had a I'd had a fair bit to drink at this stage so everything was kind of blurry but I did see someone in the gardens that night when I was watering the flowers if you haven't already you might want to poke around in there so you're welcome your grace I don't trust you something suspicious Oh, that would be all. You may take your leave. Your grace. Enton's offer is very generous, your grace. We could certainly use his hounds and army in the battle. But as promising as trading does sounds, it could cause problems later. If we decide to help Etten, we can be sure that Lurz will cancel his offer of an army. Gods know what havoc this substance will cause in the future. Better not risk it. I don't want people coming to me crying that they've lost family members to this poison. Of course, Your Grace. In that case, we should aid Lurs in stopping this nasty business. Send a general to Kaski as soon as possible to shut down that trading site he was talking about. And if we ever come across anyone wanting to sell dust, we should imprison them for a while just to discourage further sales. Lurz will be happy to hear this, so after we have done what he asked for, we should invite him over. Alright, Sidani, what do you have here? Is this a new pet you're hiding there, Pumpkin? Your Grace, may I introduce you? The Stabber! Wait, the Stabber? Oh no. The Hedgehog. <laughs> Stabber the Hedgehog. <clears throat> Why the Stabber? Well, I wanted to name him Hanson, but that name is already taken. The other option was to call him Squisher, but it didn't seem like that would s scare off the enemies. Um, underneath, he has a velvet yummy tummy, you wish you could just stroke and squish all day. Ah. Uh, but on top... On top it's a whole different story. On top he is a scary, stiff stabber. Huh. Very well. Keep the stabber close to you, but don't lose him. And don't stab yourself. It's not the stabber. It's the stabber. The stabber is on a mission and he is about to stab someone. Well, at least she will be occupied. I'm not sure if that's a good thing. <laughs> oh, I love this game. Your Grace. My village has been raided by bandits, you don't say. These scum are fiercer than any others. They have been there have been casualties. They have killed an entire family. We are counting on your help from your general, your grace. Um Do I get to make the decision? Uh, we should keep an eye on these bandits to make sure Radovians are not creating further posts. If they are locals, we should show them that there is no place for such behavior. Well, there goes my general for two weeks. You shall get the help you need. My general will find the bandits and bring them to justice. I knew you would get revenge. Thank you, Your Grace. No, justice. We, we don't get revenge around here. We get justice. All right. Uh, 
I have a pigeon. Grego kind of looks like a hunter. He's got a little feather in his cap. Although Lena, I think I remember Lena being at the uh, at the wedding, and she has the most stuff available of any of the people I could invite. So I kind of want to see what's up with her sooner than later. Uh, it seems the bedchamber has something for me to do. Darling, Lord Etten visited me. Turns out he's trading oracle dust and wants my help with it. Lord Lurz doesn't approve of the business. He thinks it's bad for people. I've helped Lurz with stopping Etten's trade stand. But really, I don't know what to think about it. Well, do you really think that selling dust is bad for people? It's not widely available, and it takes a certain type to go after this thing. So it seems harmless for now. I mean, I hear God's servants uses it, so I'm sure it's fine. After the war with Rodovia, if things start going wrong, we can always stop supporting Etten. Thank you, sweetheart. I guess it's worth thinking about. It's fine, dear. Let me know if you need to discuss anything else. Seems there's anything else I can do here. So I don't think I'm missing anything. I don't have anyone to send to these places. Bell Toys. Olmi Casana. Is there anything else you want to tell me, Audrey? Still don't know how to get a hold of a hunter. All right, let's uh, stands off doing his thing. We do have more money now. We could afford something like training grounds, but then we'd be next to flat broke. Though I do really want the training grounds, because increasing our army would be very valuable.
Hmm. Uh, I'm going to go one more turn. Because I have a feeling this round is going to throw something at me. And I'd rather be flush with cash than broke. Um, why is my daughter holding a mop? Well, let's see what the pigeon says first. Dear father, King Ivo greatly mourns the loss of his father. The funeral took place as soon as we arrived in Atania. Talos is sorely missed amongst the lords and advisors. Together with King Ivo, we prayed for justice for his father. They say he's in a better place now. The journey home helped King Ivo clear his head, and he realizes that as King of Davern, you didn't have anything to do with the po with poisoning his father. Although you and King Ivo didn't part in the friendliest manner, King Ivo wishes to apologize for his words, but says that his advisors forced him to stand by his decision. King Ivo wishes to send you support as his father promised, but his hands are tied until the royal trial is concluded. He counts on your quick investigation into the murder, which he believes will prove your innocence. Yours, Lorsulia. King Ivo, I still can't get used to that. I suppose no one imagined Ivo taking the throne so soon. It's good that at least he knows I didn't poison Talos. Well, we will still need to convince his advisors and lords. They will need to see the murderer before they support sending their whole army to help Davern. We will find the ones responsible, I'm sure. Let's ask Lursulia something else. Um, ask her about Dusty. Tell her Sidani keeps pestering me. Very well, Your Grace. I will write her a letter. We should anticipate a reply within a couple of weeks. <coughs> and here's Lady Lena, who I called for. A pleasure to meet you, Your Grace. And my biggest condolences about Talos, although I didn't like him at all. You didn't, huh? Anyway, Lurus has explained your situation to me. I believe I can help for something in return, of course. You see, you have something I want to give to my son. Hmm. Someone, actually. I would like your daughter, Asalia, to marry him. <laughs> oh, really? <clears throat> I believe this would greatly strengthen our relationship for years to come, and as a start, I would lend you my army. 300 fully equipped and trained soldiers all ready to stand against Rodovia. And along with the men, four gold and five supplies. So what do you say? Boy, oh boy. Uh, let me think about it. Oh, of course, darling. Take as much time as you like. Just remember that Rodovia won't be waiting for you to get ready. Haha. <laughs> I didn't get to ask her about the tooth. Well, I wonder what my daughter th will think about this. Hey, you! Um, Pietro, really? Do I still have two people in my dungeon? How many people are in my dungeon? I remember throwing someone in my dungeon for something, besides the barbarian, but I don't, don't remember what for. I should visit my dungeon. You have really gone overboard this... What are you babbling about? I know it was you. Now everything is clear. I stayed in the woods waiting for three weeks. Three weeks? What? But now I know. You don't know what you were talking about. Sir, this is all just happening in your head. No one is trying to harm you. You need to calm down. 
in my head. But my door was open, and my cat was gone. Your cat was gone. She wouldn't have left by herself. She's a cat. Of course she would. No, that's a lie. Wait, why am I here? I better go now. Can I leave, right? What do I do? What do I do? Oh, that guy. He's he's a number. He is a card. All right. Celia, what are you doing here? As what are you doing here with this brush? Mother made me sweep all the corridors. She did. What did you do this time? Nothing. Really. Uh, as tell me what you did. Nothing, I swear. Your mother will tell me what you did if you won't. I'd better start sweeping before she finds me. <laughs> oh. Ugh. I will never finish here. Ugh. I will never finish here. Okay. My name is Olivia, your grace. I come from the forest. I am the leader of the cult of the trees in the western woods. I know I'm probably not welcome here, but you are my last hope, your grace. I have asked all the neighboring villages for help, but they despise my god. In the middle of the forest, we have a sacred oak, and because of all the recent rains, the area around it has flooded. A stream of water keeps running all over its roots. We have tried stopping the water, but we don't have the appropriate tools. Our people need this tree to pray to, Your Grace. Without it, they are depressed and scared. I can't bear to see them so helpless. Please help us, Your Grace. You know, if ever I if ever I've been asked something here in this court that seemed of great value, your plight is one that I I understand. In fact, I will spend 12 gold to help you with your oak. You should find someone in the market um, that you can hire. Oh, your grace, thank you so much. I've got to say, I wasn't expecting you to help us. I will make sure our people know about your good heart. I hope your tree is going to be all right. And now, peasant, what will you want of me? Your grace, a traveling merchant here. Indeed. Maybe you could tell me about the tooth I have. I'm selling rather exclusive wares, if you're interested. Silk, perfumes, books, and decorations, whatever your royal soul might desire. Something tells me you might be interested in far more delicate merchandise, though. I have a knack for these things. Am I right? Uh, tell me more. I'm listening. Oh, how f fantastic. You see here, I have something very precious here. Satisfaction for the most delusioned pleasure seekers. Oh. Say, some say it's a perfect cure for when you don't feel particularly inspired. Others may use it purely for recreation. It's very good generally if you're going through a bad spell, your grace. I have one pack of dust for just 14 pieces of gold. You're tempted to grab another sack, I might throw it in for only seven gold. Uh, what would be two whole packs for only twelve gold? That would be only, you're right. Now, if that's not a deal worthy of your royal bottom, then I don't know what is. Y well, sir, your royal bottom is about to meet my dungeon. Your grace, but there's nothing wrong with selling a few packs of sugar dust. What other pleasures were you thinking about? Oracle dust? I've never heard of it. How dare you lie to your king. 
My guards will take care of you at the exit. I think we should check in with Lurz, Your Grace. We might have done some task for him, so he might be ready for an alliance now. All right. Your grass. I want to know what you did. <clears throat> Off to the dungeon. Huh. I remember there were two people in here. I wonder who the other guy was and why. I can't bear this place. Oh, it was the guy for Lady Ada. Right. I can't bear this place. L please let me out. I didn't know your grace disapproves of the dust. I thought it was like any other consumable product. People get sick because of this stuff. Everyone who sells dust in Davern will be imprisoned. You'll stay here till Lord Lurz arrives. Can I help you? I'm just looking around. Stay as long as you like, your grace. Darling. You made her sweep all the corridors in the castle? This must have been serious. Oh, Eric, she's behaving worse and worse as she grows up. She convinced one of our servants to practice sword fighting with her. Oh. It didn't end well. The servant ended up with a huge cut on his cheek. You shouldn't have let her play with swords, Eric. I know I shouldn't have, but I feel that if I had said no, she'd still do it in secret. I know, Eric. We need to pay more attention to her, especially now. Lily is not here. Uh, Lady Lena came to me with a proposition. Azalea, she's still young. I thought we wouldn't have to think about it until after the battle. I know I wasn't really sure what to tell her. She was offering her support in the battle, if we agree. We need as much help as we can get. But I don't want to let Azalea go yet. I'll leave this decision up to you, sweetheart. Oh boy. So the practical part of me is saying that A, I'm a king and my daughters are they're there to be married off to other royals. Um, this is exactly their purpose from a pragmatic, pragmatic point of view. Um, of course, I would love to th to think of my daughters in the game as as daughters who have their own thought processes and should find their own love, etc. But that's just not that's just not nobility. That's 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 not really how things worked. And I am managing a kingdom in a time when I probably should think like a king managing a kingdom of that time. So the kingdom is being threatened by an army. And if that army manages to penetrate the walls, then my daughter is probably going to face much worse things than having to marry some noble. So in a way, this is a way of protecting her. Yeah, I think we should have the wedding. <clears throat> well, 
This marriage would secure more men for our army, otherwise I don't know how we're going to deal with Rhododovia. I'm still not sure if I can prove my innocence to Ivo. The royal trial is very close. I know, sweetheart, I'm doing my best. I'll invite Lady Lena and let her know what my decision is. Fine, I'll stay here. Do you know anything about... Yeah, you're not going to like what I'm having stored for you. To the next week. To infinity and beyond. I've already invited someone. My general is busy. So, here we go. Alright, I now have 38 smackaroos. I could afford the training ground, but then I would be flat broke once again. Um, I do have plenty of money for the carnival. Though I'm not sure that... I mean, theoretically, the more content my people are, the more money and taxes they should spend. Didn't they say that's how that worked? And I think taxes used to be at one point eleven, right? And now they're up to fourteen. We're gonna do the carnival. Alright, a pigeon has arrived. The craft will flourish. No man can stop. In the middle of the night we shall meet, for the dust spreads fastest in the sandstorm. Great! A nice cryptic message. Perfect. Just as I'm afraid, just as much as you, Your Grace, something tells me it's to do with Oracle Dust, though. We should pass this on to either Lurz or Etten. It's your call, Your Grace. General. Your Grace, I have found the bandits. They were quite the bunch drinking away in the forest nearby. I let the villagers deal with them. I'm ready for our next order. Thank you. Let's hope this doesn't happen again. You have called for me, Your Grace? I have done as you asked. Wonderful. We have stopped the growth of Etten's business. Oracle Dust will still be about, but we definitely helped reduce its spread. Unfortunately, there's a small problem in the way. With Enten not buying my spices, others have turned their back on me as well. I can hardly make a coin now. That's why I had to start trading with Rodovians. What? I suppose so, but they're helping us too. I'm sure that's not an easy decision for them either. Your Grace, the bottom line is, I need gold, otherwise I won't be able to sustain my armies. The only other option I see is if you bought the spices for me. I will need monthly installments, though. 
I need to keep my business running or else I must wrap it all up. If you don't like any of those options, then I suppose we need to part ways. Well, looks like we're buying spices. We buy. But you have to cut the Rodovians off from their supplies. This will hopefully lower their morale. Very well. I will set up all the necessary trade routes. I found this message. Oh, perfect. That's all for now. As you wish, Grace. This alliance gives us many benefits, Grace. We should expect an increase to our income at the end of the week. An increase to our income? No, we're going to be spending money for this one. Soldier. Your Grace. One of the nearby lords has committed suicide. I believe it was Pietro. Really? He jumped down from a bridge into the river. Some children found him floating past a village. They got quite scared. He left this note. I am deeply sorry. Let his family know that they can count on us if they need anything. He didn't have anyone, Your Grace. Thank you for the information. Why was there... It reads, I don't know who it was that kept following me, and I cannot take living in fear anymore. I hope you are happy now that I am gone, whoever you are. That's terrible. I wish we could have helped him. Maybe if I threw him in the dungeon, he'd still be alive. Sidani, Your Grace, I come to you with a special request. To turn Stabber into a prince, I need to lift his curse. Wait, what? I've researched more into it. I think you're the youngest one of us who can read, Sidani. Well, I made Danica read it for me. I already love him as hard as I can. I squish and tickle his tummy all the time, but now I need to make him rich. Your Grace, may I please request one piece of gold? I'll pay it back, I promise. A piece of gold to make the hedgehog rich? Hmm. How can I say no to my adorable, cute little youngest daughter, who is daddy's little girl and daddy can't say no to her. No, I here have have your gold. <clears throat> Thank you, Father. Your efforts will not be forgotten. I also need to find a black rooster with a saddle. A black rooster with a saddle? <laughs> Do you know where I can find one? Oh my pumpkin, I honestly don't know. That's fine, my king. I shall find one myself. And she will. I, I have no doubt in the fact that she will find one. Um, so we have a general free and we have a pigeon free. Uh, it's when, you, when you make alliances, the ally's name will turn green. But when you upset some lords, their names will appear in red. This usually means you can't ally with them anymore. Okay, Mr. Etten, I'm sorry I've I've uh, peed in your Wheaties. Uh, we do definitely need Lady Lena here on our side. So I shall invite her. And... The General... We'll go to Bell Toys 
and shut down any horrible dust going on. In the meantime, I'm going to go walk about. There's nowhere to go walk about. Absolutely nothing to do. I'm going to go to the castle wall just because why not. Alright, I looked at my gate. Time to go back to the throne room. Alright, on to the next week. Let's take a seat in our throne first. Alright, army upkeep has gone up. Lady Lurs, our Lord Lurs, and Lady Ada. Okay. Spices, right. So now we're, we're spending 12, but we still got 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 coming in. Do want that training ground? Save and continue. Week fifteen. Dear Eric, I hear that I'm already too late to marry your daughter. We had some struggles, but we will be ready within 14 weeks. I believe we can explore other options, and I hope that you will keep to your promise, Baron King of Radovia. Okay. They know they will come to get another daughter. Fourteen weeks. That's too soon. We need to gather an army. We need to make alliances and hope Ivo will help us. Go! Oh. You're awake. You gave us all a big fright indeed. Radovia threatened that they would take our daughters. Talos was dead and we had no army to defend ourselves against Radovia. If that wasn't enough, they claimed to be only 14 weeks travel away. You may want to stay in bed. That was not a dream. Audrey showed me the letter. It does seem that Rodovia is after our daughters. The doctors say you're worrying too much. If you were younger, it wouldn't be too much of a concern, but at your age, you are more prone to the effects. You need to take care of yourself. How can I do that? We have to prepare for the battle. We have no army. Yes, that we must, but you need to keep calm. Everything will be fine. Go on now. You still have work left to do. You're right. I'd better get on with things. Back to the throne room. Audrey? Your Grace, I hope you're fine. I'm feeling a little better, yes. Did anything happen while I was gone? No, everything is the same. About the letter. We need to focus on gathering as many allies as possible in the next weeks. Invite lords and see 
how we can make alliances with them. While we are doing that, we should also focus on these evidence items for the royal trial. Question lords and see if any of these things lead us to the killer. I don't mean to cause you stress, but we only have 14 weeks. Of course, Audrey. I agree, we shouldn't get distracted with petty matters. Let's get to it. Lord Atten's wares were successfully protected. Protected? Just as you requested, Your Grace. Protected? That's not what I wanted. I wanted you to seize him. You've called for me, Your Grace? I have. I found this animal tooth. Do you know anything about this? It was found in my wine cellar. Oh yes, I've seen something like this before. It's a charm necklace. It's an expensive thing. The bigger the tooth is, the more dangerous daemons it can protect you from. I have a small one as well, you know, just in case. Many soldiers wear these as a sign of their strength, especially if they obtain the tooth themselves by defeating a monster. It brings them luck in battle. Where did you get yours from? It was a wedding gift from my father. Thank you, Lady Luna. About the marriage. Have you reconsidered my offer, Your Grace? I, uh, I think we should proceed with the marriage. I have heard wonderful things about your boy, and I'm sure Azalea will be delighted to be his wife. Also, you could definitely make use of... We could definitely make use of your army. Uh -huh. Oh, that's most wonderful. The day we defeat Rodovia is the day we will celebrate. Lady Lita. Who's this Lady Lita? Rumors spread fast, Your Grace. I've heard that what uh, what's coming from behind the mountains. I can help. I want to. However, there's a small catch, as you probably anticipated. These times aren't easy for any of us, and I have a favor to ask. A delicate matter, actually. It seems to me that you don't know of the curse that plagues Lena's family. Curse? What curse? They say that if her son does not participate in the act of marriage before his twelfth spring, he will fall asleep and never wake up. Well, I guess it's a good thing he's getting married then. Um, is there a way to lift the spell? There is. That's why Lena is desperately looking for someone to marry her son to lift the ban. The problem is, you can't completely get rid of it. If her son gets married, it is said that the spell will move on to the bride and she will die the following night. Are you willing to risk this? Well, that really throws a crimp in things. Oh no, it's the drunk guy. May I have your oddish, please? I went to do some fishing, like I always do, your grace. <laughs> But as foolish as I am, I am, um, I fell asleep, yes. Stupid, stupid, Stefan. I always have to mesh everything up. Anyway, someone took my fishing rod, and now I have nothing. Tish, the only thing I had left after my wife died. Oh, my sweet Anna. 
If she saw what a mesh I am, she'd put me right into my place. It's all my fault, your grace. I only wanted me and her and the kids to have a good time. So I, I took everybody out of my boat. And then the storm came. And, and I just flipped the boat upside down. I swear I didn't know your grace. Then I woke up on the shore. They were all gone. So I wait every day and I fish to pass time. But now I don't even have my rod. Please, your grace, spare the old man. If I could ask for a piece of gold, I swear I will buy a fishing rod and nothing else. Well, that's a sad story you told. And while I feel like being generous, the kingdom can't afford to be generous, but I will I will spare you a gold for your fishing rod. Buy the new fishing rod, but don't lose it again. It'll get easier. You should try to sell some of the fish on the market to keep your mind off things. Thank you, your your grace. I'm forever grateful. All right, peasant. Your grace, I have come to tell you the water from the oak has cleared. Good. Our people hadn't prayed or confessed in weeks. Oh, they are so happy now. I brought you something small as a gift. It's a bouquet made of the oak's fallen leaves. It saved them from last year. I saved them from last year. It will bring love and luck to your throne room. Well, thank you. I think I hope it I hope it really does. I'll just leave it by the window. Excellent. And then we have a merchant. Your grace. I bring you a special thing of magical splendor. It is only worthy of a royal no one else deserves this magnificent being. Your Grace, I present to you my magical cock. Indeed. Don't let your eyes fool you. This magical cock probably lays golden eggs, right? Because that's exactly what roosters do. This ain't a regular cock, Your Grace. This cock has been enchanted. I could can I it can tell a lie from the truth, your grace. And when it senses a lie, it will voice its disapproval. I believe it would be a real asset to your throne room. It will help you lead be, uh, you lead better than any advisor. See, I'm no liar. The cock stayed quiet. How can I be sure this thing works? Try it yourself, Your Grace. Tell a lie or truth. I am Audrey the Fourth, and it's my real birth name. See, I wasn't lying, Your Grace. So how much do you want for this thing? Only 18 gold, Your Grace. This is a very good price for a lie detector. Let me just set it all up. All set. <coughs> Take care, Your Grace. Oh, yeah. She was looking for a black cock to saddle. I for completely forgot about that. 
Oh boy. <clears throat> Well, I just bought a chicken. And I so want to use it. Magic Brewster. Yes, Father. Uh, I'm not so sure she's going to marry Lena's son because. Very sorry, I have no other choice. Laylene is preparing the wedding for after our battle. I knew it. I knew you'd send me off as soon as Ursulia was gone. I don't know why I hoped it would be different with me. How could I ever be happy with someone I don't even know? As I hate you. Just don't. Ouch. Stab yourself. I have something to show you. You're going to love it. Just let me finish feeding Stabber, Father. I'll come later. Fine, Pumpkin. I'll wait for you in the throne room. How long do I have to wait for? Alright, so we have a pigeon and we have our general. I would like to know more about the quote unquote curse. All right, another turn we go. Our, I think we're going to have to, yep. making some money off of Lady Lena. This is good. Um, we're getting 11, 12, plus taxes is what, 23 supplies. Army upkeep is 19. So we are in positive on the, on the supplies. 
And gold, we have, what, 14, 16, 17, 18, 22, with 12 outbounds. So we're, we're making 10 gold and 4 supplies per turn. Would like to get that training ground, but it's a lot of money. I keep saying that. Well, we're going to save and continue. And we're going to check the time. It's Grievno week 16. And it's time to wrap up this episode. Anyway, all, I am James Johnson, a.k.a. Sulphur Blade. This has been yet another episode of... Um... What is this again? Uh, something Grace. Grace, yes... Uh, da, 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 da. Yes, your grace. Interesting title. Um, anyway, uh, very enjoyable game. Uh, I I love so many of the aspects about the game. There's there's nice, funny little quirks in it. It's got a very interesting story. Um, it does pose you with with interesting decisions. I I really think it's one of the better decision type games of its type that I've played, and I would strongly recommend it to anyone who's interested in it. Anyway, I am James Johnson, a.k.a. Software Blade. This is my content. Hopefully you're enjoying it. If so, please smash that like button. And until the next time, all, peace.